The last of the plate boundaries we're going to look at is a fault zone. It's also sometimes called a transform boundary. And in this case, we have two plates that are sliding parallel to each other. Now they may be moving in opposite directions, as is shown in this diagram, or they could be moving in the same direction but at different speeds. But again, thinking in terms of our convection cycle, uh, under the plate in the back, our convection uh, cell would be moving away from us, and the plate closer to us in the picture, the convection cell would be rotating towards us. So the two convection cells are side by side but rotating in opposite directions. So as our plates are in motion side by side, they're moving in opposite directions. One thing to keep in mind, you know, illustrations like this often make it look like there is this clearly defined, nice, straight crack between these two plates. When in reality, uh, there is no clearly defined crack. There are rocks that uh, go across that boundary. The boundary itself is rarely straight. It's usually a much more irregular shaped boundary. So when these plates are in motion, they are moving against all of this material in between. So that material in between is getting pulled in two directions. And that's called a shear force. So all the rocks along that boundary are getting pulled and pulled and stretched and stretched and stretched. And at some point, they can't take it anymore, and they break. And that's called fracture. When that occurs is when you get an earthquake. So earthquakes are most frequently associated with fault zones. Uh, the most famous one in the United States is the one in California, the San Andreas Fault. And so in that case, you have one plate moving north and one plate moving south. And every time the rocks break uh, violently is when you get an earthquake. And this is... Uh, going to occur along any fault zone. Now the San Andreas Fault is a major fault zone. There are actually a lot of minor fault zones throughout the United States and those are the source of much smaller earthquakes uh, found in places you don't normally associate with earthquakes such as uh, earthquakes in Virginia and places like that. But all of these are the result of uh, two plates moving in opposite directions and ultimately breaking the rocks that are intertwined across that fault zone.